Hey what's up bye guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be doing a tutorial on my WASD converters. Now I have a few videos on some of my older designs but those are really outdated at this point and unfortunately a lot of people are still using those as reference. So I want to update them with some of my new designs, some of the things I use. Now I am going to say this right away, this design that is in the center of the screen is something based off Icebound Glaceon. He showed me this design, so I'm going to give credit to him. However, these two are kind of something of my own creation. So real quick, let's look at them as they are. So this is the w &S converter. I've used it in a number of vehicles, uh, a lot of which are my uh, flight computers. There are other designs that are a bit smaller, a bit faster, but this is kind of my standard go-to. Now this is an A&D converter, a little compact thing, two by two. And this is the a and converter that I use for a lot of my older tanks. You'll see it a lot, uh, but unfortunately it is quite bulky. So, pressing them now, W, S, W, S, S, W. Pretty good response time. You can tap the button and it won't activate, but as soon as you hold it, it kicks in pretty quickly. So, and then you have A&D. Now this one by Icebound is a bit faster, um, but it is a little bit more difficult to make. So then, let's actually make these real quick. I'm going to start with the big one, the WS converter. Um, let's uh, well, let's just start with that bearing, T piece, and I did not get all of the inventory I will need. Now this is the basic framework you're going to want to build. Um, we're going to be having the sensors on this side and the spring on this side. The reason for that, simply, the sensors stick out of the side a bit more. Um, and that will actually cause some issues with the size of this creation. And I do like to make all my sensors color sensitive. So range of two, color orange, range of two, color mode, orange. And even if you say turn it on and it has the color you want, I would recommend going in and reselecting it anyways because the game can be a bit picky sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work properly. And paint up everything that you don't want it to sense. And of course, if you are using a vehicle that is orange, you may want to change this to a different color. But for me, I always use orange. And the last but not least, we, we do need an engine for this. Hook your engine up to your bearing. And now this one, I would set to either 5, so somewhere right in this range. I'm going to set it to 5 on this one. And then hook that up to your seat. Now if it's too fast, sometimes what you'll get, if I show it on this one, sometimes what you'll get is the actual output will be really spotty. See how it's turned off when I hold W? But if you have it too slow, it won't react fast enough. You'll still get an output, but it'll be very slow to react. So, finding a good median is a good idea. Hopefully this all made sense, and then from here you can just connect from your sensors for WNS. Now it's a bit bulky, but it works quite well in my opinion. Next sensor is the A&D sensor. Now this one is the one based off Icebound's design. Go and paint these up. Bearing on each side. And I will paint these up like I do normally. Now the sensors are already orange when you spawn them, but you can paint them again just because you can. 
and then hooking these up to your chair. One of them will need to be flipped, and that should be it for your A and D sensor. And then my design for the A and D sensor that I usually use. I will need a T pipe piece. There we go. And once again, setting your sensors to range two, color mode one, or color mode orange. Um, and I know some people are going to ask, why do I set it to range two? Well, sometimes sensors, when they're set to range one, don't sense things properly that they definitely should. So I always set to range mode two just to be safe. Now, this one particularly, you cannot have anything blocking the front because it will not work. It will not pick up on those sensors. So you will have to have a gap here. Now, if you want, you can actually just have pipe pieces. That gives enough clearance. There we go. And hopefully this was a, well, relatively informative video. Um, I know it's quick, but I wanted to do an update to my WASD converter videos because a lot of my old ones are out of date and they just suck. Um, so these are the new ones I use for a lot of my builds. You'll see them quite often if you take anything apart, such as some of my tanks, my flight computers, and things like that. So without further ado, I think I am all done for this video. I've covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, shares help the channel the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.